In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to create basic motion graphics and kinetic typography. This is going to be a tricky one, but you are going to enjoy it. So without wasting your time, let's start creating. Here I have already taken a blank slide. First pick a rectangle and then drag it over here. Now zooming out a bit, holding the shift key rotate this rectangle. and place it in this corner. Then holding the control shift drag it to here and it will be duplicated. I am placing this rectangle to the opposite corner. After that we need to select the first rectangle then go to format click on shape fill and pick this color. Now go to shape outline and make no outline. Now select the second rectangle go to shape fill and change the color. Then again go to shape outline make no outline. Now you need to subtract all the extra edges from this two rectangle. So pick a rectangle and cover the extra portion from this first one. Now select this two, go to format, click on merge shape and make subtract. Then again do the same, pick a rectangle, cover this left side extra portion, then select this two shapes, go to merge shape and select subtract. It is really simple. So to save your time, I am doing the rest of the subtraction part in fast forward mode. You just need to pick a rectangle, cover the extra portion and make a subtraction. After that, we need to add some shadow effects. Now first select this shape, go to format, click on this small icon, then go to effects from here. Now click on shadow, then set the preset to this first one. Change the color to this ash. Now set the transparency to 37%, size 101%, make it blur 25 point. Now select the other shape. From here set the preset to this offset top left. Change the color to ash, transparency 37% size 101 percent and make it blur 25 point then just close it here you can see the shadow has been added now pick a text box drag it here i'm typing learn select all the text change the font to century gothic change the font size to 88 point make it bold change the font color to this black then holding the shift key rotate this text box and keep it here. Press ctrl D to duplicate, bring it a bit downward, selecting the text change the font to dosis, change the font size to 72 point, make it unbold and change the font color to white. Now increase the text box size and add your own text here. Now selecting all the text change the align to right and bring the text box a bit downward and do the same for the first one also. After that again make a copy of this text box bring it to here, select all the text, change the font size to 72 point, increase the text box size and I am typing basic motion here. Then again make a copy of it, place it here changing the text to graphics, increase the font size to 80 and change the color to this red. Then select these two text boxes and place them in the exact middle. Now make another copy of this text box, type the end sign here, resize it, bring it to here, increase its size to 199 point, change the color and place it right beside this text box. After that we need to select this text box and press ctrl D to duplicate. Now bring it to here and increase the text box size. Now I am typing kinetic. Then again select this text box press ctrl D to duplicate bring it to here and I am changing the text to typography. Now select all the text change the align to left and place the text box with the same alignment with the previous one. 
Here we are done with creating all the elements that we need before starting the animation part. So first select this text box and place it here. Now zoom out a bit, go to animation, click on add animation and from motion paths select these lines. Then drag this red dot to place it in its previous position with the same alignment. Now set start one click and the duration 0.75 seconds. Then we need to select the second text box and place it a bit upward. Now click on add animation and from motion paths again select lines. Then drag this red dot to place it in its previous position with the same alignment. Now set start with previous and the duration 0.75 seconds. After that go to home, pick a rectangle shape and drag it over here. Now go to format, click on shape fill and change the color to this red. Again go to shape outline, make no outline. Then holding the shift key rotate this rectangle. Now place it here and resize it so that it covers our second text box. Then select the first text box, bring it to front. Now make a copy of this shape, place it over this first text box, resize it so that it also covers this one. So if I start the slideshow, you can see that our first two animation is working perfectly. So now we can go further, select this text box, zoom out a bit, make a copy of it, place it here with the same alignment and delete the previous one. Then again select this text box, click on this drop down arrow and from motion paths select this line animation. Then drag this red dot to place it in its previous position. Now set start after previous and the duration 0.75 seconds. Now select this text box, press Ctrl D to duplicate and place it here with the same alignment. Now delete the previous one, select this one again, click on add animation, from motion path select lines. Now drag this red dot to place it in its actual position. Then set start with previous and the duration 0.75 seconds. Then again make a copy of this rectangle shape, place it over this text box to cover it, then go to format, click on shape fill, pick this eyedropper tool and I am picking this background color. Again press Ctrl D to duplicate this rectangle and place over this one. Now select this text box and place it here. Then click on this drop down arrow from motion pass select this line animation. Now drag this red dot and place it here with the same alignment. Now set after previous and the duration 0.75 seconds. Again make a copy of this rectangle, resize it like this way and place it over this text box, resize it again. Now right click on it and then send it to back. Now select this text box, right click on it, send it to back. Now if you start the slideshow, you can see that till now our animation is working perfectly. Now select this text box, place it here and then click on this drop down arrow and from motion pass select the line animation. Then drag this red dot and place it in its previous position. Set start after previous and the duration 0.75 seconds. Now again select this text box, place it to upward, click on this drop down arrow and from motion pass select the line animation. Drag this red dot to here. And then set start with previous and the duration 0.75 seconds. Now I need to cover these two text boxes. So make a copy of this rectangle, place it over here, resize it, change the color from shape fill. Right click on this text box, bring it to front and again make a copy of this rectangle, place it over here to cover it, resize it a bit. And we are done with our animation. So now here you can see what we have done in this 10 minutes. You can download this template for free. I have given the download link in the video description. If you have enjoyed this tutorial, make sure you like and subscribe this channel. And don't forget to share with your friends. Hope to see you in the next tutorial. 
and thanks for watching